We are hearing the evidence prosecutors used to get a sexual assault charge against Kevin Spacey. The evidence may include a Snapchat video. WBZ's Michelle Fisher has the new details. Last week, two defense lawyers for Kevin Spacey failed to get a court magistrate to rule there wasn't enough evidence for him to be charged. Now, audio of that court hearing is providing some new insight into what may have happened the night the alleged victim says he was assaulted. The club car restaurant on Nantucket is where Spacey's accuser says things innocently started back on the night of July 7th, 2016. We're having drinks together, they're talking together, there's a, um, an autograph that is signed. That's the voice of state trooper Gerald Donovan, whose testimony was based on a statement given by the alleged victim, the son of former Boston News anchor Heather Unruh. Spacey, she says, inappropriately touched her son. Mr. Spacey is standing in, in front of... And at some point, Mr. Spacey reaches behind himself and into the front of um, pants. Inside the packed restaurant, Spacey allegedly groped his accuser discreetly for several minutes. They tried to shift his body and move away, but Spacey's hands um, and move Spacey's hands away with his hands, but Spacey kept reaching inside his pants. At some point, uh, texts his girlfriend or sends. You know, electronic message to his girlfriend that he thinks Kevin Spacey is trying to rape him. Attorneys for Spacey raised several questions, like why the incident was reported to police more than a year after it allegedly happened. The accuser's credibility also in question. He was only 18 at the time. He may have been so drunk that he was blackout drunk, but he didn't blackout at the, the club car. He may have blacked out once he got home. That's correct. Spacey is set to be arraigned on a felony count of indecent assault and battery in Nantucket District Court on January the 7th. According to court documents, the charge could carry a penalty of up to five years in prison. For WBZ News, I'm Michelle Fisher.